Hey Peloton, thank you guys so much for joining. So what are we gonna talk about in today's video? Well, we are gonna talk about the communication that we've received this week from Peloton. A uh, quick hint, uh, still no schedule on the bike, but you know, I didn't expect anything. We're also gonna talk about the gear that came. It's pretty nice, man. Um, I'll show you a close up uh, look of, uh, of the gear and what I thought of it or think of it. I think you can tell I like, at least I like this. I guess you'll see the other uh, items come in soon. And then we'll just talk about the activity, uh, both on the treadmill and uh, the activity in terms of the weight loss. So let's get to it. All right, Peloton, hey, thank you guys so much for coming back. So obviously in that uh, little pre thing, I spoiled the fact that, uh, yeah, we haven't gotten any communication relative to when the bike is gonna arrive. But uh, I'm using the, my treadmill a lot and uh, still planning on doing that video. I was thinking about putting that video in this one uh, where I showed kind of how I'm using a non-Peloton bike with the app, but I just, changed my mind and decided it would make this one too long and anybody who was just kind of interested in that content you know might not see it just given kind of the the weekly nature of uh of these but anyway let's talk about what peloton did from a communication standpoint this week all right so the first email that we received this week was about peloton tags i know super exciting uh, topic but essentially it's a hashtag that you can put, I think you can put either eight or 10 hashtags uh, of things that you're interested in. So I'm big into archery, I put hashtag archery. There's not that many archers on Peloton, shocking. But uh, anyway, I have hashtag archery and uh, I'm thinking that I like Chase a lot and I'm probably gonna do hashtag Wolfpack too, just to show him some love. But anyway, you can uh, express your ideas and other people may uh, you know, find you so that you guys can talk and share different things that uh, you like with, uh, with hashtags. So that was pretty much the communication for, uh, for that one. So what was next? All right, so next was an email just talking about outdoor classes. Um, that's essentially for those of you who would rather be outside running, um, I'm a little, I haven't tried one yet. Uh, they're podcasts, right? So there's no video, but you have an instructor in your ear talking to you. I think for runs, those would be pretty sweet. I can see, you know, the cadence and the speed and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, for hiking, uh, that would be, I think, kind of challenging because, you know, you'd have to time like going up some some grade or something like that. But, but anyway. They, uh, they do now have outdoor uh, podcasts for those of you that would like to take your Peloton app on the run or on the walk or uh, what have you. And you can just listen and follow along um, and be outside, which uh, that's always nice. I love outside. All right, and just the next thing was a couple of you uh, fine viewers uh, decided to follow me on uh, the Peloton app and uh, I quickly accepted those and uh, more people go ahead and uh, follow me uh, if you get in this Peloton journey like I am. I think you'll uh, really like it. I have been uh, very busy with uh, all of the stuff on the app and trying different things out and it definitely is helping take some of the, you know, anxiousness and waiting for this thing to find, finally arrive so that I have a bike and and uh, certainly getting my cardio better and getting stronger and, uh, and all those kind of good things that you can do with just the app. So they're not wrong. I kind of thought they were kind of, you know, BS and me, but no, they're not. They're using, using the app, you really can. And if you really do it, uh, you can really get some uh, nice results. All right. So second thing, we got some items from Peloton this week. Uh, I think you can see the towel over there. I uh, got a set of three towels. Um, they're nice and they're long, which was kind of cool. They have inspirational sayings on them. You have three of them. So when the one is filthy with, uh, you know, your sweat and so forth, you can wash that one and you still have the other two towels just to kind of have a rotation. I think once the bike comes and my wife's using the bike and I don't know if my kids are gonna use the bike or not, but might have to get a few more towels 
uh, and definitely gonna have to get that mat for the ground, which uh, I still haven't picked that out yet, but I'm thinking about it pretty seriously. So I think that has to happen. But the towels are really nice. I think uh, quality is good. Price-wise, I think it was like 35, 38 for the towels. That's expensive, uh, not gonna lie. Um, obviously, I used uh, the referral money for these items, so that really helped take the burden off of me financially. Um, I don't know if I would have made that same decision. I guarantee you my wife would not have made that same decision to get the towels. So, second thing uh, that came was the jacket, and you saw me wearing that jacket at the beginning of the video. It is far too hot in here to be wearing that jacket, uh, but I love the jacket. The jacket was 200 bucks, uh, but it was on clearance, which is sweet, for 99. So I was able to use a referral code and get that jacket for free. It's a really nice, it's those puffy jackets. It's got a pocket on the inside, you know, a couple of nice zipper pockets on the outside. I do really like zipper pockets and I just like a zipper jacket. So I know some people like hoodie pullovers and stuff and I still even on sweatshirts like a like a zipper so I did buy it in an aspirational size <laughs> so I will say that I bought it in a large um, and it, it zips up so so that's a plus uh, definitely showing that uh, the weight loss is paying off because I don't think I would have been able to zip that up at the beginning of uh, 2021 but I can now so that's pretty pretty awesome pretty excited about that all right, so then I got two shirts. So uh, one is more, the one that just says Peloton on the front, that shirt is more of like the, the workout shirt, if you know what I mean, not like a regular t-shirt. It's uh, the thin, uh, that whisking sweat away kind of a shirt, uh, definitely a workout shirt. It is, it's not just a t-shirt like I'm wearing that you can or would want to like just wear anywhere. It's really is more of being on, on the treadmill and working that. Given that I want to say it was 40 something dollars, uh, I'm sure my daughter would think that was cheap. To me, that seems expensive. I don't know. I, you know, maybe I'm out of touch. Okay, I'm completely out of touch with anything related to clothes, but that just seemed a little expensive to me to sweat on a treadmill or sweat on a uh, bike, but you know, maybe I'll change my mind later on when uh, when I've worn it and, you know, I've, I love it. You know, I don't know. We'll see. I do like the design of it. I like it says Peloton here. I like that it has a, the Peloton P on the uh, side. It's cool. I dig that kind of stuff. The other shirt has, uh, it's blue and it's got a, a blue graphic on the front of a big P Peloton. And then you can see the graphic on the back. Uh, I haven't really looked that closely at it. I don't remember what it was, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, that one is more of just like a t-shirt. Again, price-wise, I think it was in that $40 range, so still more expensive than I usually pay for a t-shirt. Um, and it is a thinner t-shirt, so um, I think some people like that. I tend to like a thicker tee, like a beefy tee, if y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, that kind of thicker quality shirt. And this one's definitely not that. It's definitely that thinner shirt, um, definitely cooler for the summer and stuff like that. And I can see why some people would like that over the beefy tees. Depends, I guess, on the time of the year, maybe. All right, so let's just talk about the activity so far. I just thought I would kind of throw this in. I've been talking to you guys a little bit about the weight loss. So last week, I only lost half a pound, which in my opinion sucked. Uh, the week before that, I had lost two pounds. And so what did I lose this week? I lost one and a half. Um, so that was good. I was happy to see a one and a half pound weight loss. It actually put me on my 2018 weight. Because every time I go and do have my doctor's appointment, um, I, I remember what they weighed me at. And in 2018, I was at this weight. So uh, that was really cool. I was excited. That was another milestone. So. Um, Next milestone is to break 200, so to hit 199, and uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks maybe, uh, we'll get underneath that, uh, I will let you know. But uh, one and a half pounds uh, this week uh, was the number. Now, I weigh myself every uh, Friday or Saturday morning, just so that it's kind of consistent. And I don't like doing it every day because that just drives me freaking nuts. Um, but from an activity standpoint, You'll see I am somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know now, 58 different classes that I've taken. 
uh, over 25 days or something like that. I don't know, you'll see in the graphic or video that I'm uh, showing here what I actually did. But the, uh, you know, don't get too crazy about like, wow, it's, he's doing so many classes. A typical thing that I'm trying to do is a warm up run, which is either like five minutes or you can do a warm up walk, which is like 10 minutes. That counts as one, right? So then that's only five minutes. And then I'm doing like a 30 minute hike or I'm doing like a 30 minute uh, run walk or I'm doing like a 20 minute hit class. That counts as another one, right? And then I do a cool down again, like five to 10 minutes depends if you do it as a run or a walk. The runs are like five minute cool downs. The walks are like 10 minute cool downs. And then I do a stretch. So if you look at that, right, it's like I'm kind of slacking really, right? 25 times four things is 100. <laughs> and I'm more like at 58 or something around that. So anyway, but I'm really enjoying the, the, uh, the app and the classes and uh, gonna keep doing that. I think now as we're filming this, I've done it like 68, 68 classes or something like that. But I think it was 58 when I did the uh, video of, uh, of my cell phone. All right, so that is it. No real update, guys. I didn't get any communication from Peloton on the arrival of the $2,500 bike. So sorry about that. Um, I wish I did, but uh, stay tuned. So next week, uh, again, we'll cover the communications from Peloton. We'll cover any kind of accessories uh, that I get. Uh, I'll cover any kind of announcements that Peloton makes and communicates to me, and then uh, we'll just uh, keep tracking the activity. I'll let you guys know how, uh, how the weight loss is going. And if you're interested in, in how many of the classes and stuff that I'm doing, you know, we can, we can talk about that too. Uh, I am gonna post the video on how to use the treadmill as a separate video. I'll try and get that up by uh, this weekend. I have almost all of it uh, filmed. I just have to do the editing, which is my least favorite part of doing these uh, videos. I'd much rather do this I'd much rather do this in a live stream, which would be really cool, but there are not enough viewers for that. And I don't want to talk to myself as much as I am talking to myself now. So I guess I do want to talk to myself. Oh. Anyway, take care of each other, take care of yourself, and we'll see you next time. Peace.